your character at the time because you went through i guess two different nicknames uh <laughs> one particular is really funny but let's just let's start with eye candy well and it was inter- internet i had internet millionaire kyle durden yep. which was essentially the the douchebag guy who ran girls gone wild um that was who i i put that over which is just like this dude has got no business being successful, but he's just all of a sudden he came into all this randomness. He's so that a womanizer, was the... he travels. It was whoever the dude was that was Girls Gone Wild. I can never remember his name, but like real garbage human being. That was where my internet millionaire Kyle Durden thing came from. Um, I'd film promos. Like I remember filming vignettes and stuff like that where I just like do vlogs as they call them before anybody else was doing them. Jesus, this makes me annoyed too. I would be like, uh, we'd be near a hospital and there'd be a helicopter landing. And I'd be like, oh my God, if I get close enough to this, I could film something so it looks like I'm getting off the helicopter and cut a quick promo to the camera. And I'll say it's like Mexico City. It's not, it's Iowa. Um, but Joe I Francis? do all these things. Could be, I don't know. Joe Francis, yes. Um, like I remember talking to Lance Storm one time. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to film these little videos and stuff like that. And he's like, I don't think that's going to help. Then the Young Bucks filmed little vlogs and videos and people started caring about them as people outside of the ring and it evolved. That was the whole point. I was like, well, if somebody gets like a character version, maybe because this, that, and I remember like Lance Storm being like, no, nah, I think that's a waste of time. <clears throat> Retrospect, hindsight's twenty twenty. And the other one was eye candy, Kyle Durden, which I have an eye candy tattoo right here on my forearm still, which was what was on the groin of my gear, which was um, essentially the Kyle Durden thing too. It's Fight Club. My my legit first name is Kyle. I use my real name now, Kyle Davis, um, which is super generic. And uh, everybody's got a Kyle Davis in their life. Sorry. Um, but Kyle Durden was because there was no Kyles in the wrestling in the wrestling business. And then Durden was Fight Club. And of course, Shane Hagedorn was the only one that really got the joke, which was, oh, yeah. So like Tyler Durden is the worst version of him but he this thinks is great but it's really self-destructive and is not good for anybody i'm like yes that's me i became a, a pretty boy womanizer and was horrible to be around and uh that's the truth of the matter i was not a good person i was kind of a piece of shit and that's because i was so insecure and hated who i was that i was like this seems like a cooler version i'd rather be doing this and have fun and have life experiences and it, the answer is a, a happy medium between be yourself, but be confident and have life experiences. And then like, it's kind of like the rules of, uh, the rules of attraction. Like if you put something out there, it'll come back to you. I don't know if that's real or not, but I recently have been going through it. I went through a divorce late last year and I've gotten more confident in accepting my own skin. And I feel like, yeah, it's, there's some truth to that. Like if you're just who you are to their own self, be true as Shakespeare would say, um, it'll come back and work out for you. It's fascinating to me. Yeah. It's just, it's fascinating to me that you were saying, you know, you wanted to have all these attributes because you know, it would make a good heel and you know, people would hate you for it. And then you're also saying, but this was kind of my real attributes at the time. Like were you, putting that together like were you like oh i'm a heel in real life or were you just or was that not even like did you not even somehow connect that no it was just one of those things in retrospect i realized that i was leaning into things that were uh, leaning into who i wanted to be instead of who i really was and it was just to compensate so i couldn't be hurt um yeah super super weird but it's it is what it is it's it's good to be aware of that and i think a lot of people do that on a daily basis I unfortunately or fortunately was in a position to do it and for cameras in front of me. And, uh, you know, I always joke about like, I'm an F level celebrity, probably lower on the totem pole, but like, I, I got the thing, which is com- people I've never met before know I exist and it's super weird. Um, and then again, it's just, I was given the opportunity to live a life I never thought I'd have. And, Thankfully, as an adult version of me, I balanced everything out and come to terms with a bunch of things and can now help out the next generation of professional wrestlers, uh, being on camera, behind the camera, or just as someone who's, you know, hey, let me tell you about my faults and let me tell you about how you can grow beyond the person you are today and evolve and be something better. 